everybody what's going on we are back in alaskan road truckers and where we left off last time we were just shy of getting our b license well guess what i did a quick job off camera and now we are able to get that b license and i went ahead and came to the area that has the job that i want to get so as you can see we have one point in our trucking so we're going to go ahead and go for that trucker license b I guess I got to hold it. Okay. All right. So now we can go in here and there's some concrete elements. It says that, uh, is a pretty decent job. Yeah. We'll stop for conquer, not concrete. We'll stop for uh coffee somewhere too, because we're obviously tired and it's only four 30 in the afternoon. So we're going to do this first one. It's a nice, you know, $3,800 job. Nice long haul. So let's go get that trailer it over there and let's see exactly what we're hauling here all right looks like we're hauling some concrete barriers what it looks like to me so let's uh get this hooked up and get on the road all right we got the trailer hooked up one other thing that i am doing is you know last episode i think it was we got the thermo jacket well it wears out really quick and this is a very expensive jacket so while i'm in the truck I just switch it over to the winter coat because it's just a little cheaper and it seems to wear a little bit less. Um, but right now we're going to go find a gas station and get some coffee before we hit the road because I don't know that we're going to make it uh, with as tired as our guys getting here. So uh, yeah, let's go get some warm coffee in our system. Get going here. All right, we got some nice warm coffee in our system. We're close to halfway back on our energy level i did grab another cup just in case uh we get a little low because we do have a decent little trek i mean this is a 250 mile job so uh it's not going to be quick and easy especially since it's already starting to get dark so a lot of this oh there goes the camera kidding when they said ai will pass you but uh yeah a lot of this truck is going to be in the dark so uh should be pretty interesting to say the least i know i don't play a whole lot of this on here i really do love this game it's by far one of my favorites but i'm just afraid to oversaturate the channel with it i don't know what do you guys think tell me what are your thoughts on it do i need to play more because i mean i could easily i don't know where the road is holy crap uh, so I could easily play, oh, uh, man, I keep getting distracted here. I could easily play more, put probably at least a video a week, if not a couple videos a week of this game out, if I thought everybody would enjoy it. So yeah, tell me your thoughts below. I got a few ideas for, um, some different challenges coming up in future episodes, so Make sure you stick around and check them out. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, let's uh, get on up here to this pump station and get these uh, concrete dividers delivered. Oh, and I was wrong. I've got over 400 miles to go on this track. Okay, it was just 250 until I made my turn. I was looking at the wrong deal on my mini map there. So yeah, oh, why am I cold? Why is my guy cold? Let's take care of this. And surely, I mean, the heater's on. I mean, do I need to put this guy on because it's so cold out? Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Did I get rear-ended? Yeah, I did. Man, I got all kinds of problems with this delivery already. I already dropped my cargo percentage down 2%. So they're gonna nick me for that when I go to drop this off. Man, I gotta pick up some speed though, cause I'm losing time. Kinda hard when you can't see where you're going though. I know I'm pissing off people behind me though, that's for sure. So yeah, that is kind of one thing about the game is, you know, just because your truck has a heater doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna stay warm with the heater on because I mean I don't know personally what it's like but 
I would imagine, especially a semi truck, uh, at negative 34 Fahrenheit below zero. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to keep that thing warm at all. So, I mean, we've got the front cover on, which is helping, you know, the truck temperature keep up, but yeah, I can only imagine that even just the heater is not going to be enough, which is why we got to put our good jacket on driving next along the Alaska pipeline. Pretty cool. So I like the side view mirrors that you're able to pull them up, but it's still just kind of a work in progress. Like it's still not a little too glitchy for me. I find it more distracting than I do helpful, except for, I mean, I guess if I'm going to run into somebody or somebody's going to run into me, it's better to know, but I prefer it off. Again, they're working hard on improvements in this game constantly. So they had a big update earlier this month. I know they're working on another big update uh, to come out to be determined. So yeah, if you're waiting for console release, I know they're working hard on that. Uh, and if you haven't picked this up on PC yet, I mean, it's worth it. Um, I like I, I say it I think every episode how much I love this game and it's still great I'm just trying to figure out ways to make it entertaining for you guys to watch too oh oh, oh my gosh yeah it's uh maybe a little too speedy in this game I'm just straight up pick out that sign of course, I'm sure they are all the ones waiting behind me to go. So I bet they're not happy, but that was, that's the first time I've seen an AI car crash. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, good to know that I'm not the only one sliding around in this game. Good to know that they are too. They have just as much issue. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that in as many times as I've played this game. All right. I think I'm going to drink that other cup of coffee. Just because we're still over 100 miles away and we're getting pretty low on energy. So, whoa, it's not. Man. Talk about taking your eyes off the road. It's a bigger distraction than having your phone out. Come on now. All right. But yeah, we're a little over 100 miles away. So, uh, it shouldn't interfere with us getting sleep. And plus, we're going to get there, you know, well after 9, probably closer to 10 at night, which means we can sleep through the night and get on to the next job the next morning. All right, looks like I need to drop off over here to the left. Let's see, I mean, it's gotta be going all around this parking lot, but there's nobody here. We'll be okay. Is this my back end spot? Looks like it. So we'll back in right there and then we'll go paid. Another thing I gotta figure out, uh, with what I want to do as far as the gameplay goes is, you know, I haven't found or I haven't discovered in this playthrough yet any of the points of interest. Uh, there's quite a few around the map. I don't know if you watched my first series on this. I did find them all. Um, I didn't show them all on camera, but I did show most of them that I stopped and, you know, found them, took the picture and all that good stuff. But I'm wondering if I should do just like one uh, one episode where I go through and I find them all and just do a bunch of, you know, cuts and stuff to where, you know, you can see exactly where they're at and, you know, how to find them and stuff like that. Or do I go through and, uh, find them, you know, just as I'm doing jobs, you know, that's what I did on my first playthrough is just, you know, as I was going to a job, I would go and, um, uh, find the points of interest. So yeah, I, I just don't know which route I want to go with that. If you guys have any thoughts, let me know. I'd be interested to hear on, um, you know, if we should do all of them at once in one episode and just do like a mass, uh, checking them all out. Or if we just, you know, as we do a job, if we happen to pass one, then let's get one until we do finally get them online. So yeah, just tell me your thoughts. We're going to finish getting this unhooked and then 
get inside and get paid. We're going to get docked a little bit because of our trailer damage, but you know, that it could be worse. It's only 2%. Uh, we still made it with plenty of time to spare. And then, like I said, it's a little after 10. So at least we can get back to the truck and then sleep throughout the night and then we'll start our next job. So let's see what we did here. I mean, $5,600 for, and that really wasn't too bad of a trek, especially once the snow lifted up and we're actually able to see a little bit better but yeah we're gonna get back to the truck get some sleep and then uh i'll find the next job that i want to do oh good morning morning we are going to go pick up our next load we're gonna backtrack just a little bit uh but it is a very well-paying job it's uh close to six grand so i mean nothing too special it's just gonna be some trash that we're gonna be hauling but it's for a pretty decent distance and yeah like i said six grand can't turn her down so yeah let's go get that yeah like i said we're just it's going to be some junk it's going to be 646 miles that's a pretty good trek but like i said it's going to be uh almost six grand just for the base payout once you add in the weather bonus and all that good stuff the parking bonus uh, it's going to be pretty pretty good payout so i can't complain there so let's uh let's get hooked up and get on the way all right so 640 the mileage left to go looks like the sun's coming out snow's letting up a little bit so yeah let's go get this dropped off let's go make some really good money this trip man so yeah i mean i do the i like the longer trips for a couple of reasons Oops, sorry guy um you it's not just the money aspect of it but the more mileage you do and the bigger the jobs you do the more points you get for upgrading your character so it's you know it just feels like it goes faster when you do longer jobs because it's you know you get more points per job so that's why i like these longer ones these bigger paying ones because it's not just the money amount because really I mean, I haven't run into the fact where I've been worried about money at all in this game. Of course, I also haven't had to try to buy any trucks yet. So there is also that. Um, but, you know, just survival aspect of it and truck maintenance and stuff like that. You can pretty well keep on top of that um, just with the amount of money that you have starting off. So, yeah, it's mainly the XP and stuff like that that I like to gain as quick as I can and these long haul jobs definitely seem to make it go by pretty quick but anyway so we're 600 miles ish let's uh get this delivered and we'll figure out what we're gonna do next oh there's oh oh are you serious how am I getting charged for that accident that is so not fair you're the one who took that corner doing 80. Oh gosh. So yeah, that would be careful of AI. I mean, they're constantly working on them, but yeah, they, uh, they don't slow down for icy turns. So yeah, good to know. Something to definitely keep an eye out from now on. But yeah, anyway, just in time for some awesome scenery. You got the mountains coming through and the fog in the distance just so amazing never gets old checking out the scenery in this game okay so i definitely think with the next upgrade we get instead of unlocking the next license it's gonna be two points anyway but i really want to unlock the b-class trucks and see if uh maybe they got a little more power because oh my gosh i struggle on these hills um and they're not even big hills you know, and I get stuck doing like 40 miles an hour up a small hill. So, yeah, I think that's going to be our goal next go around when we get that point in there is we're going to unlock the next class of truck and see what kind of truck we can get. Hopefully it's got at least a little more power, at least enough to do 55, you know, do the speed limit on these straightaways. I'm flat out and doing 52, 53. So, yeah, uh, an upgrade is definitely, I see it in our near future for sure. All right, we have made it. Let's get this thing parked. 
Let's see what we get paid. I'm willing to bet. I think it's going to be close to eight grand. I mean, what do y'all think? Yeah, I think after the bonus, the weather bonus, and the parking bonus, I think we should be around eight grand. Find out here in a second. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see, what do you got for us? Oh, I was even low. It's $9,500. Wow, you can't beat that. That is awesome. I mean, it was a long drive. It really wasn't too, too bad uh, for me getting down here. Um, but I think, uh, minus a few AI cars trying to run us off the road, it was a pretty uneventful uh, couple of trips. So I'm not going to complain. We did some decent money. And ooh, what's this? Huh, just random comics in the ground. Interesting. Grocery delivery. Huh. Okay. So, well, that's something new. Um, but I think that's where we're going to call it for today. Day. I appreciate you watching in the next episode I do have a couple of things I would like to try out and maybe show you guys and uh, you know maybe make this a little more uh, difficult for me if that's possible but I appreciate you guys watching thanks for joining make sure you watch out for the next episode it's going to be a great one until next time bye for now